So a lot of times in my Twitch streams, I get quite asked a fair bit as to how am I doing recruitment? Why am I setting 7 hours 40 minutes instead of 9 hours? What's the point of having that many recruitment permits? Like how do I have 300 recruitment permits in my stack when people are running low at zero? I'm gonna talk all about recruitment in today's video and share with you guys how do I do my own recruitment on a daily basis. Hey there guys, it's Kukikaze over here, a fellow Ark Knights player. I stream quite a fair bit on Twitch. You can find me on my streams, links in the description below. Alright, so let's get started as to what is recruitment. Recruitment is the place where you can obtain operators via another means. So normally you can obtain operators via headhunting banners where you spend your own randoms to get them. But otherwise, another way that you can consult is to go via recruitment to obtain the operators that you do not have. You can get a whole range of operators from 1 stars to 6 stars and there are even operators that are limited to recruitment only like for instance the robots, uh, some of the starter 2 stars, some of the 3, 4 and 5 stars but specifically we've got Amnesial, Estelle, Indra and Vulcan they are limited to recruitment only so there are a lot of users to recruitment. Most often when you hit about level 50 as a player level, you would have obtained quite a fair bit of 3 stars to the point that everyone is max potential already. So in recruitment, 3 stars aren't really something that you aim for. 2 stars are also something that you don't really aim for because they don't produce a lot of green certificates as well. But you can only obtain 2 stars via the starter tags in recruitment. And if let's say you're not someone that is playing with low rarity runs, 2 stars are usually not something that you bat an eye for. The rarities that most people care about when it comes to recruitment are the 1 stars, 4 stars, 5 and 6. 1 stars are the ones that give you robots, so you've got Thermal X, you've got Lancer, you've got Castle. And sometimes people want to play with robots because robots do not use deployment limit and there are some point in times where this can come in handy in the future. On the other hand, there are the more popular ones, so the 4, 5, 6 stars. Of course, them being the more demanded for, they will be harder to get. So 6 stars will require you to get the top operator tag, while 5 stars requires you to get the senior operator tag, or find a combination of tags in order to guarantee the 5 star. Same goes for the 4 stars where there are certain tags in the recruitment itself where it can guarantee you to get a 4 star so long as the tags do not drop. So how do you do recruitment? Recruitment is pretty darn simple. All it uses is a recruitment permit and LMD. And LMD isn't a whopping lot. You can easily get recruitment permits via daily stages. So as you see over here, I've completed my daily mission for today. And every day you will get just one recruitment permit. And you can also complete the weekly missions where you can obtain quite a fair bit of recruitment permit. If those are not enough for you and you want to obtain even more, you can get them via credit store. Sometimes recruitment permits will appear here. This is the ones that you get via friend credits or your base credits. So you can spend it at 160 to get a recruitment permit. Or if it's discounted, you're luckier, it can drop to 80 or 40 at 50% off and 75% off. On the other hand, there's also recruitment permits that appears in the commendation store or basically your green certificate store. At phase 1, there's 15 recruitment permits that you can buy and at phase 2, there are 20 recruitment permits that you can buy. So many ways to obtain recruitment permits very easily and sometimes even events that you play might just give you a recruitment permit and also your daily logins, things like that. So that's how you can easily get it. LMD on the other hand, sometimes you might be farming it or you can just complete daily missions. Recruitments aren't really that expensive. So I'm gonna get started as to recruitment. How I'm gonna show you guys recruitment is that I'm gonna do 50 recruitment pools right now in this video. In my Twitch streams, I've actually done a lot of recruitment streams, not just for myself. Sometimes I hop onto people's accounts in order to help them do recruitment pools and hope for the best of luck. Three, two, one. I tend to stack all my recruitments into a bunch, like I'll do 100 pools in one shot because I'm very curious to see what is the rate of getting a 5 star or 6 star. So it's like taking a sample size to see whether top operator is actually real. I can tell you guys that as much as I know a lot of my viewers who are lucky at getting 6 stars, for myself, I've done like 500 pulls. I've never seen a top operator tag. Ever since I got my first top operator tag maybe in the month of um, April or May last year, 
I've never seen a top operator tech ever since then. Maybe I've done a thousand pulls up to this point. But there are other people who have told me things like they get top operator like uh, once a month. So that's lucky for them, <laughs> not for me. I'm gonna do 50 pulls right over here. This is a lot less than my Twitch streams. In the future, if you hop on, maybe you'll see a bigger one where I do 200 pulls. The first time that I did it, I did 200 pulls. And the second time I did it, I did a 150 pulls, which was quite exciting to watch to see whether we can get the five stars or not. All right, so let's get started, shall we? When you are recruiting, there are four timings that you need to take note. One hour, three hour 50, seven hour 40, and nine hours. Most of the time, you'll see people going for 9 hours straight off the bat just because it seems very intuitive. You guarantee a 3 star, 4 star, and 5 star. But the thing about setting the number of hours is that what it helps is to guarantee the tags. Basically, if you set a higher number of hours and you have selected a tag, it simply lowers the chances of the tags being cancelled. So that's why you put 9 hours. In this case, if let's say you're someone who's doing recruitment just because you simply want to get a 3 star or 4 star and you aren't selecting any tags at all, do not set 9 hours. All you need to set is 7 hour 40 because this is enough to guarantee 3 to 5 stars. Alright, you're cancelling out the 1 and the 2s. If you have selected a tag because you want to try to guarantee it, whether it's 1 tags or 2 tags, then you set it to 9 hours. So that's that. 7 hour 40, when you're tagless, 9 hours, when you have a tag. What about the other timings that I stated? 1 hour is what you set if let's say you're trying to grab a robot. So if you're trying to get a robot and you're not very particular about which one you're getting, and understand this, getting a robot is as hard as getting a 5 star or even 6 star in this game. Alright, so 1 hour is sufficient if you're not setting a tag. If you see a robot tag appearing, which who knows if we're gonna see it later on, then set it to 3 hour 50. That way you will secure yourself from getting a robot. Alright, but understand that also 3 hour 50 is not as protective as 9 hour, meaning to say that the chance of a tag dropping is higher at 3 hour 50 compared to 9. So there's no choice if a robot tag were to appear, you got to bless, pray to whatsoever wife that you have in this game that you're not gonna drop that robot tag. Those are the four timings to take note. I have no goals to get a robot out of this stream. I just want to pull and see whether I can still finally get the top operator. If a robot tag appear, I'll take it. Meaning to say, I'm gonna set everything at seven hour 40. All right, let's put it as that. Oh, before I forget, I'm gonna answer a question that I get asked quite a bit, which is why do I have so many recruitment permits? The reason why I have this many is that I don't complete the recruitment mission in the daily missions usually. I only complete it if let's say I need to. So most of the time I complete the other quests like getting a support unit or destroying an enemy leader once per day. I tend to save my recruitment permits because I don't see the point of pooling if let's say none of the techs are gonna give me a 4 star. 4 stars already give a lot more green certificates than 3 stars. They give 30 green certificates which is precious and also 1 yellow certificate which I can use to buy my headhunting permit. Whereas 3 stars, I'm only getting 5 plus 5. By 5 plus 5, what I mean is that you get 5 for pulling the 3 star and you get 5 for trading their tokens away when they are at max potential, which is a lot less than 4 stars. That is why I don't normally pool in recruitment like i don't i'm not the kind that will do three recruitment daily on my main account i rather just hold it only when the tags appear i'll go and recruit that's also why i have that many expedited plans that i can use all the time since i am in no rush to pool in any way so my recruitment for me gets stocked up my expedited plan gets stocked up and that's kind of why i can do recruitment streams it's up to you as to how you're gonna do recruitment are you the kind that wishes that you pull once every day or twice every day just to complete the daily mission or just for your own good that's your on you but a way that i like to recommend people to recruit is just only do recruitment when you see four stars that way you're saving out your recruitment permits for even higher green certificates that you can get in the game Shall we get started to pull 50 times? I'm worried. I hope to see a 5 star or 6 stars out of this 50. Let's go. So I'm going to set 7 hour 40 across everyone. Also in here, you're going to see some combination of tags. I'm going to put up a picture somewhere on the screen right now in order to show you guys um, the list of 4 stars guarantee and 5 stars guarantees that you guys can probably get in the game. Uh, I'm also going to put an image link down in the description below. So let's get to that. 7 hour 40 right over here. All right. 
Ah, okay, look at that. We've got a fast free deploy going on right here. So this is a guaranteed four star. Or if I'm lucky, maybe a project will appear. Okay, let's get that. Seven out of 40. And seven out of 40. All right, I've set that for everyone. Okay, let's open it up. Oh, wait. I should have probably <laughs> open up everybody's one first. That's what I usually do in my recruitment streams. Okay, let's open up everyone's. Oh, if you're looking for an Estelle and you have never gotten her before, Melee AoE will be able to grab you an Estelle. But the only trouble is that ever since recruitment updated recently in the anniversary event, the way to get Estelle is slightly harder because Popoka has been added which is also sharing the exact same text as Estelle. But it doesn't mean you can't get her, you can just keep trying. The rate of getting Estelle is still decent. Like I have an alternate account, I'm still getting Estelle over there when I do recruitment. So don't worry about the fact that oh Popoka is here, she's destroying it, or Spot is here, I can't get Gumi anymore. You can still get the 4 stars that you want. It's only slightly harder because a 3 star is in the way. Let's continue. If you're wondering by the way how is it so easy for me to know what tags I'm looking out for, that's just because I've done so many recruitments that I've kind of memorized what tags to look out for when trying to get a guaranteed 4 star or 5 star. If you're not very familiar with how to do so, you can always hop on to one of the websites that will help you out. So by websites I'm referring to like these sites for instance where you've got the Game Press website that has this Arknights recruitment tag filter. So how it works is that you can put in any of the five tags that you have gotten. So like for instance, if let's say you've got um, AoE, you've got Guard, Defender, Defense and Healing, you get these five tags. You can put it in and it'll show to you what are the possible combinations that you can go for and what unit you will get. So this is the way that you can look out for the four stars that you might be missing in terms of combination wise. If you are not a fan of the way that this website looks, which I don't see any issue, I think this is fine. But another popular website would be the A-Ship one, where people use this as well. It works the same way, just make sure that you set your server to the English server and your language to English. And then afterwards, you can just put the five tags that you see right over here. All right, so put the five tags and then afterwards, it'll showcase to you what you can get. So use these websites to help you out if you're unfamiliar with recruitment or use that image that I put at the front just now so that that becomes like a simple one paper guide as to how to do your recruitment. Okay, let's get back. Ah, look at that. It's a 4 star. That's a Teclos 4 star right over there. And also at 7 hour 40 minutes. So this is to show you guys that 4 stars are possible. That's lucky for me. Okay, let's move on. Oh, look at that. We've got shift going on. We've got range AoE, healing. Alright, oh, healing AoE isn't a thing by the way. Please do not think that getting healing AoE might give you a perfumer or a telopsis because... Sadly, three target healers are not considered AoE. But yeah, there's a shift right here, so this is good. I'm gonna use this. Ooh, another techless four star. That's pretty sweet. Thank you, Frostleaf. Please send me a doctor to fix my real life sanity. 
Oh, thank you, Vigna. Another techless four star that has appeared. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get a streak of three stars at this rate. All right, that's nice. Let's continue. This is new. Bee Hunter is newly added to recruitment. Somehow I managed to get her. That's nice. Thank you, Bee Hunter. Ah, another four star. That's Tankless. Thank you, Gravel. You know what? I think I'm gonna bank it on one number this time around. I only have six pools left, so I'm gonna choose my favorite number. My favorite number is two. So let me just double check if there's anything else. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's do it all on two. I wonder if a top operator is still gonna surprise me at this point. The chances feel a little bit low. Yet another 50 pools in, and I don't see a top operator. This is depressing. <laughs> Oh, Techless 4 star. The woman has appeared. Alright, thank you. Alright, we're down to the last one. We're down to the last one. Can they surprise me today, Yo Star? Can you just give me a top operator tag so that I can easily demonstrate to the video what it's like to get top operator? Or maybe give me senior operator. Alright, last expedited plan. Give it to me. That is bullshit. Hi, hi. Uh, okay, I've done my 50 pulls for today. So that's just a demonstration as to how I usually do my recruitment. Alright, so only set 7 hours 40 minutes if you don't have a goal or you don't have like a particular force I can guarantee. You can try your luck, maybe you get a techless four stars like me. It's strange because there isn't a lot of combination of techs that I could have showed to you guys as to obtaining the guaranteed four stars. Things like DPS slow was missing, uh, you don't have AoE slow as well. There's a lot of combination of double techs that you can go for, but the only thing that appeared was like shift and fast redeploy. Again, guides are all placed below and there's that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed just watching me suffer with 50 pools and run out of my expedited plans on my main account. I'm going to be saving my expedited plans once again and hopefully be able to prepare for another 100 plus pool stream on Twitch someday. So that's all for my explanation for recruitment. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. 0707. Bye-bye. <laughs>